Welcome to Revelation Unraveled. I'm your host, William Tapley, also known as the Third Eagle of the Apocalypse and the Co-Prophet of the End Times. On this program, I want to discuss the timing of World War III. That is, when will Barack Obama provoke Russia into attacking the United States? On previous videos, I've already discussed how Barack Obama is the leopard, as described in Daniel chapter 7, and the last king of the south, as described in Daniel chapter 11. He will also be the last elected president of the United States. It's extremely important for us to know the timing of World War III, because Satan is out there spreading many false lies about the timing of the end. The date that he is giving you is 2012. Believe me, that is a lie from the pit of hell. If you wait until 2012, you will be way too late. World War III will begin long before we ever see the year 2012. Now, in order to determine the date for the starting of World War III, we need to determine the date for Armageddon. Because the tribulation period lasts for seven years, and World War III is the trigger of the seven years of tribulation. Do not listen to the false prophets who tell you that some kind of covenant between the Antichrist and Israel triggers the Great Tribulation period. This is another lie from Satan. If you wait for some supposed covenant, again, you will be way too late. You need to prepare for World War III now because it will occur within the next 20 months. That is, sometime between 2009 and 2010, as I will now demonstrate. Let's look at biblical prophecy so that we can determine the timing of Armageddon. In the Olivet Discourse, Jesus tells us the parable of the fig tree. This parable is a prophecy of the rebirth of Israel in the 20th century. And Jesus adds that this generation shall not pass away until all things have been accomplished. If we can determine the date that Israel became a nation and add one generation's time to that, then we can determine the date for Armageddon. Now the United Nations declared Israel to be a sovereign state on November 29, 1947. And if you add 70 years to that date, 70 years is of course the lifespan in the Bible, or three score and ten years, then you get November 29, 2017 as the date for Armageddon. And when you subtract seven years of tribulation from that date, you get November 29, 2010 as the date for World War III. Now I realize that many Bible scholars believe May 1948 is the date for Israel's rebirth because that's when the English left Israel and when her Arab neighbors declared war. But the official date when the United Nations declared Israel to be a sovereign state was November 29, 1947. Now let's look at another interesting date from Bible prophecy. In Revelation, St. John describes a great star which falls from heaven. This great star is Martin Luther. Martin Luther is a precursor of the false prophet because he apostatized from his Catholic faith, just as the false prophet will apostatize from the Catholic faith. Now the plague of locusts, which Martin Luther unleashes, lasts for five months, according to St. John. But that five months symbolizes five centuries. And the date that Martin Luther posted his famous 95 Theses was on Halloween of the year 1517. Now when you add 500 years to the date Martin Luther posted his 95 Theses, on October 31st, 1517, 
You get October 31st, 2017 as the date for Armageddon. And you subtract seven years, again you come with a very close date for World War III. In other words, October 31st, 2010. In the latter part of the 19th century, another very interesting prophecy occurred. Pope Leo XIII overheard a conversation between our Lord and the devil. The devil proposed to God that he could seduce all of mankind if he were given enough time. And God responded by granting him 100 years. Now shortly after this prophecy, in the early part of the 20th century, two very significant events occurred. First, the Blessed Mother appeared at Fatima and warned the world that Russia would spread her errors throughout the world. This prophecy was verified by the great miracle of the sun, which was witnessed by over 80,000 people. At almost the exact same time, the Bolshevik Revolution occurred in Russia. Now if we add 100 years to each of these two events, we will come amazingly close to the Bible prophecies about the date for Armageddon and the date for World War III. Although the Bolshevik Revolution is called the October Revolution, it actually started in November of 1917. And when you add 100 years, you come up with November 15, 2017. And again, subtracting seven years for tribulation, we come up with November 15, 2010 for World War III. And the same with the miracle of Fatima. We know, of course, that the Blessed Mother appeared to the shepherd children on October 13, 1917. And when you add 100 years, you get the date for Armageddon of October 13, 2017. And again, subtracting seven years of tribulation, you come up with October 13, 2010 as the date for World War III. Of course, I realize people will object to me giving a time frame for Armageddon and World War III because Jesus said specifically no man knows the day or the hour. But please notice I did not give you a day or an hour. I gave you a season and a year. In fact, when Jesus gives the parable of the fig tree, he is providing all the clues you need to calculate the exact month and season and year. When he says no man knows the day or the hour, he is indicating that you can figure out the year and the general time frame, not the specific day or hour. If you look at the time frame for Armageddon, which I just gave you, that is between October 13th, 2017, and November 29th, 2017, you will find a time span of 45 days, which is exactly the time frame that Daniel prophesies will be the length of Armageddon. And now that we know Armageddon, we should be able to figure out the approximate time for World War III. The reason I say approximate is because in each case I subtracted seven years from the date for Armageddon. But the Bible does not say seven years. The Bible says seven times. That means the tribulation can be a little longer than seven years or it can be a little less. Thus we see that seven times could be eight years. And President Obama could provoke World War III as early as 2009, in other words, this year. Whether it is this year, or 2010, or even a little later, it will be far sooner than the phony date of 2012. Therefore, we must be prepared now. Following 9-11, any pastor in this country will tell you that his church was filled. All the pews were taken. Now the churches are half empty again. Why do we need to wait for the bombs to fall to get on our knees? The time to start praying for President Obama in this country is now. If you wait until 2012, you will be too late. And if you would like more information, simply write to the address you see on your screen.